In today's video, I will show you how you can configure virtual hosts for XAMPP in Mac. Here on the browser, as you can see, I am getting this Laravel app by typing localhost and then the directory path to the Laravel project. What we want to do is we want this to be named something different, like for example, laravel.local. To do that, we need to go to the applications where we have our XAMPP installed. So click on XAMPP and inside the ATC folder, we will have this httpd.com file. So click on it and open this with text editor. So once you have opened it, scroll to the end. And as you can see here, we have a line that includes a HTTPD dash virtualhost.com file. And inside this file, we will have our virtual hosts configured. So in order to allow the virtual hosts configurations, we are going to uncomment this uh, line and I'm going to save this. So now we need to head to the extra folder where we can find the virtual host configuration file. So this is this one here. I'm going to right click on it and I'm going to open this with text editor. So inside this file, as you can see, we have already some virtual hosts configured. So I'm going to add a new one. So I'm going to paste it out. So in the server name, you can add your um, name of the domain. So for me, it's going to be laravel.local. And inside the document root, uh, we're going to add the laravel.xamp, which is my Laravel project, and then the public folder. So I'm going to do the same for the directory. So once you are done with your configuration, click on close. So once we have edited the virtual host configuration, we will need to edit the hosts file in order to access the server name locally. So go to the terminal and type sudo slash atc slash hosts. And then you will need to write down your Mac user password. So we need to add nano between sudo and uh, slash atc. And as you can see inside in here, you will have this local IP address reserved for the local host name. So what we're going to do is we're going to add a new local IP address reserved for another name. So 127-0-01 and then we'll name it laravel.local. Then save this file using the key combination control O, enter and then click on Control X to exit the file. Close the terminal. So I'm going to close this one as well and type in laravel.local slash laravel xamp which is our Laravel project, and then slash public. Then click on Enter. So as you can see, we are getting the Laravel application as we did before using the localhost server name. But this time instead, we are using the laravel.local server name. So this is how you can configure virtual hosts in Mac. So thanks for watching.